Vamos repetir. We are living in a dark world. We are living in a dark world where the focus of man is not on the will of God. The scripture says in Psalms 53, and I ask the minister to read first. The fool had said in his heart, The fool had said in his heart, There is no God. There is no God. No, it's very, it's a very hard thing today to be in a conversation concerning God. It's very hard to reason concerning God because people are so distracted with so many distractions today. You know, Jesus said unto us that knowledge shall increase but set not your heart upon it. We can say today that knowledge has increased and keep increasing each and every day of our life. We are living in a time now where, you know, a phone come out, and after that phone come out, you have an upgrade, glory to God. You have devices, that they are made and keep upgrading, keep upgrading, keep up upgrading. And that is what Jesus speak to us from he was here. He said, knowledge shall increase, but say not your heart upon it. You know, it's a very hard thing to resist temptation because knowledge carries so many things with the increase there and it's very hard to resist it. We see where the young people today they are so caught up with technology, they are so caught up with social media that glory to God they don't even remember that they have a soul to be saved. The scripture said the fool had said in his heart there is no God. There is no God. Why would someone consider that there is no God? The less you take time out for God is the less you encounter with His presence. The less you encounter with God's presence the less you believe in God. So the further and further away you find yourself from God, your heart will speak. And you may even reason to yourself, is there a God? Oh, do you know that there is a God? And then you start to speak some things in your mind. Oh, you believe that there is a God? I was listening to the sister testimony that she is striving to be a Christian. You see, we need to develop a heart to be fully persuaded. We need to develop a mind of belief. You know, from the past week, I've been observing Bishop. I've been observing him myself. I see we have been reasoning and some things that we reason about, you know, instantly what we say, it just happened. You see, God is the only wise God. And congregation, I can stand here and tell you that every test that you face is for you to grow, is for you to mature. You know, I experience this naturally. And I have to speak. You know, I remember when I was going, when I was persuaded towards building. You know, my father is a builder. And you know, I haven't been, I haven't been master, I didn't master some things. Concerning building. You know, I was building and 
You know, when I hit some people, you know, my father was a builder. I was building and my father just leave me to build. You know, he could help me. He could be of a good help to me. But he just leave me to do what I'm doing on my own. In your congregation, it was not an easy task. It was not an easy task. But you know, I can stand here and give God thanks for a man of God that has great wisdom. Because, you know, what I have learned and where I am now, I cannot compare myself to where I was. I am more than who I was. You know, this is an example that I am showing you concerning our Heavenly Father. God will leave you in some situations for you to learn the way out. He won't tell you the way out. He will have you to learn the way out, to develop yourself, to get out. Glory to God. The more you develop yourself, the more you develop yourself, is the more resistance you have. The more you are able to resist. The scripture says temptation is not sin. But when you heal to temptation, he sin. Not able to resist temptation. That is what caused you to sin. When you develop yourself where you are able to resist temptation, glory to God, you will not sin. You know, I, when I listen to what the sister was saying, you know, I look deeply into those words, striving to be a Christian. What I want every one of you inside here to be saying is that I am a Christian. That's where you should reach. Don't keep saying I'm striving to be a Christian. The scripture shows us on Mount Carmel what took place there. We don't want to be people that have been two opinions or have been three opinions or have been many opinions. We want to be a people that have just one opinion and that is God. And if you have one opinion which is God, you will be Christ-like. You will strive and when you have strive, glory to God, you won't be wondering, you won't be a double-minded person. You will be steadfast and sure. We sing that song, fast and to the rock, which cannot move. Grounded, firm, and deep in the Savior's love. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's where we have to reach. Not wondering, don't reach a place of doubt. When temptation comes to start, though, I want to have never seen, I want to have never backslide. Glory to God. Develop yourself. You know, I was reasoning, I was reasoning with my father and I was showing him just the other day. Look if he had to leave me to learn. I could not be able to be so calm and as careful. Glory to God. Doing the work that I didn't know to do. I would have to be there watching him doing the work. Glory to God. Watching him doing the work. You know why so many people don't keep doubting God? Because they keep saying God is not coming true for them. And they don't take the time to examine that God allows something to happen to you for you to learn, for you to develop yourself. Glory to God. And because you are so weak in spirit 
I'm not going to say body, I'm going to say spirit because the scripture says that God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. I'm going to say you are so weak in spirit that blessing him of Jesus what God has planned out. You can't examine it, you can't see it. You can't realize what he's about to do, that he's setting up something for you, that glory to God. You need to look through the spirit and examine through the spirit that glory to God is a time for change, that God is lining up a change, glory to God, in your life, glory to God. The scripture says, him that will live God the most suffer persecution. No virgin, if the scripture says this to us, I'm not going to pray and ask God to move persecution. Nor child, nor tribulation. My prayer is going to be, Lord, give me the strength to continue, to endure, because the word says, he that endured unto the end the same shall be saved. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We have to develop ourselves as children of God. Come out of weakness. The scripture says, His strength is made perfect in weakness. That means God don't want you to remain in weakness. Glory to God. He gives you something that you can bear, and when you get weak, glory to God, perfection is ahead. Perfection is ahead. We all have cross to bear. We all have trial. We all have testing. And if you should put all those trials and all those testing together. Your testing is not, not my testing. My child is not your child. Glory to God. You can't bear mine, I can't bear yours. But God placed it here for you to develop yourself. Glory to God. And when you are developed, when you are developed, glory to God, you'll be able to start. And I've been done all this time. The scripture says, corrupt hard day. And I've done abominable iniquities. There is none that do not put. There is none, no fool. That said that there is no God. There is none that do it good. There is none that do it good. Why you can't do good? God is not. In you, God is not with you. Glory to God. Because the heart doesn't believe that there is a God. Glory to God. God cannot manifest himself in your life. Glory to God. Because you have blocked him out. I want you to understand. Block out. When I say block out. It's like when the electricity gone out. There is darkness. It's like glory to God, you have, you have your device and someone keep calling you and you decide to block them. Glory to God. They can't get in communication with you. That's what the fool have done. Cut it off. Cut off the relationship that they should have with the Almighty God. Block him out of their heart. Go to God. The scripture said, let this mind be in you which was also in Christ. When you have a wicked mind, that's what going to manifest in your members. The scripture said, there is no that way good. You can't do good without God. And when you block him out of your life, the deeds of your life will not reflect God. When you block God from your life, the deeds of your life will not reflect God. Glory to God. The scripture says, God looked down from heaven 
upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand and did see God. We are not living in a time now that man is seeking after God. We are living in a time now where man is seeking after riches, wealth, power, glory to God. That's the time that we are living in. Glory to God. Man is not seeking to suffer with him that, he, that they may reign with him. Man is not seeking glory to God. The undiluted word of truth. Man is not seeking chastisement from the wrongs. Glory to God. Man is seeking their own pleasure according to Timothy. Glory to God. That scripture shows us. I want to bring your attention here. Glory to God. We only use it at the time very wisely to bring across. Glory to God. The message. Glory to God. That's where the heart of man lies. Glory to God. In 2 Timothy chapter 3. Glory to God. That's where the heart of man lies. The deeds that they should be doing, their heart is far away from it. How can I do and please God if I don't believe that there is a God? How can I fulfill my duty of which I was made if I don't believe that there is a God? Because the heart of men have Gone away from God. The scripture says in 2 Timothy chapter 3, This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. We are in the last days now. Because many of these things that we see outlined here in 2 Timothy chapter 3 is manifesting before our eyes. Glory to God. The scripture says, for men shall be lovers of their own selves. Glory to God. Man put themselves before God. Man place themselves before God. Glory to God. The scripture says, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, glory to God. These things are manifesting before us. Someone, you say to someone, we are in the last days, you are acting as if you are saying something that is not true or you are saying something strange. But you know, when you get to know God, when you get to understand God's word, and you see the manifestation of the scripture happening before your eyes, glory to God, you can say without a doubt that we are living in the last days, glory to God. The scripture is fulfilled. Let God be true and every man alive. The scripture says without natural affection, True breakers, false accusers, incontinent fears, despisers of those that are good. Why? The fool had said in his heart, there is no God. Don't know how to do good. Call up our day. I've done abominable iniquities. There is none that very good. So you know what? The fool is going to despise it. Despise the people of God. Glory to God. What the scripture says, blessed are they that are persecuted for righteousness sake. Glory to God. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and say all manner of evil against you falsely for my name's sake. What the scripture says here, what man shall, shall do here? They shall be false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good. 
she a turns, heady, I mind them, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God. Glory to God. Please God aside. Please God aside, man. Glory to God. Trying to fulfill their own way. Trying to live a comfortable life. Glory to God. Without God. Trying to live a comfortable life without God. Bless the name of Jesus. Let me tell you something. I'd rather to suffer with God than to live comfortable in this life. Because death is sure. Glory to God. Death is sure. And there is a great goal that is fixed. And it is only in this life can we receive salvation. Glory to God. To be saved. So you gotta put self aside. You gotta place self aside and draw close to God. Glory to God. The scripture says, up in a form. This is, this is what church is gone to. This is where a place of assembly, assembling oneself to worship gone to. Just having a form of godliness. Having a form of godliness. Glory to God. When you, you know, when when someone is pretending, you know, if you are a wise person, you can read the person that they are not genuine. They are not real. Glory to God. This is what places us of assemble that want to assemble themselves to worship God. They are not genuine. They are not genuine. You have to be following God's word. Glory to God. To be genuine. Glory to God. It is good to get the genuine thing. Because the non-genuine is just for a period of time. You won't endure. And we have to endure, Virgin. We have to endure to be saved. When you get the non-genuine, you will endure. But when you have the genuine, it will stand. It will go through. It will go to God when you change some parts on and, and, and your vehicle. When you get the genuine part, some rough road that you travel on, glory to God. And your vehicle remains sound. But when you get the non-genuine, glory to God, and you drive on some rough road, you just knock out, ball giant, knock out. Glory to God. Control and pushing God. Glory to God. It is good to be genuine. Don't just have a farm. Be genuine. The scripture says they, they reach to a place having a form of godliness. But denying the power thereof. No, if you if you observe places of worship today. They are denying the Holy Ghost. They are rejecting the Holy Ghost. They don't want to see the operation of the Spirit, the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. That's where the power lies on the day of Pentecost. Glory to God. That's the foundation of the Church of Christ. If you get rid of the foundation, your building will not stand. If you destroy the foundation, the building cannot stand. Glory to God. When you build upon the foundation now, you have a sound building. The building can withstand a lot of disasters. You know why church is breaking down today? The poor. They don't have the Holy Ghost for they deny the power of God. So when the, when 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 our great adversary appears, there is nothing to withstand the devil with. You don't have nothing to withstand the devil. So when the devil comes, he just keep leading away, leading away, keep 
leading our members. Keep leading our members. Keep leading our members. Glory to God. We can only overcome through the power of God congregation. We can only stand through the power of God. It is good to be comforted by your brothers and your sisters. But there is no greater help than God's help. The scripture says, Greater love had no man than this, that a man laid down his life for his friends. You will never find a greater love. The scripture says, For of this sort are they which creep into houses. Why? Because they deny the poor. For this sort are they which creep into houses and let captive silly women lay there with sin, led away with divers lust, ever learning and never able to come to the land of, of the truth. Congregation. When I was going to school, you see, anytime it's exam time, you hear the teachers, whether the teachers or your classmates, you see, a time to pull up the socks, time to pull up the socks. You have to pull up, we have to pull up our socks now. You see, when we come in the house of the Lord, the scripture says, be more ready to hear. Be more ready to hear. Your first priority should be to hear. He that have an ear is to hear. Let him hear what the Spirit says unto the churches. We have to worship. Yes. But our first priority should be to hear. Because that which we should hear in it lies the power. In it lies the resistance. Glory to God. To be able to overcome. Glory to God. In the time of trouble. Because there is a time of trouble coming. Where is a word that you should have heard. That will give you the victory. That will give you the, the strength to stand. In the, in, the, in the trial, the strength to stand, glory to God, in the testing, the strength to stand, glory to God, when you become weak, the strength, glory to God, to stand when there is nobody else around you, glory to God, the strength to stand, glory to God, when it seems as if you are going to give up. Just a word is very powerful. Ever learning. We don't want to fall into this category ever learning. Never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. We don't want to be here our bishop preaching and teaching to us, Lord to God, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. We want to grow from strength to strength here in the word of God. Lord to God, we want to be mature. We want to be mature children of God. Lord to God. Don't be hearing one thing over and over and over again, glory to God, and not able to apply the word to ourselves, glory to God. We have to develop ourselves, glory to God, to be able to use the weapon. The scripture says the weapon of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty to God, to the pulling down of strongholds, glory to God. Mighty true God. In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Mighty true God. How important it is, glory to God, when a man of God, one that has been anointed by God to preach the Word, instant, in season, and out of season, glory to God, how important it is. To ensure that you fill your vessel. Because when you fill your vessel, congregation, you will have enough to stand. When you fill
in a vessel, you will have enough to stand. Glory to God. Back to the scripture. What it says, the eighth verse, what it says. No, no. as Janice. No, as Janice and Jambres withstood yes. Moses. So do these. So do these also resist the truth. This is not a strange thing. I sit there and I was listening to a bishop. It is not something strange. God has removed the scale from our eyes, glory to God, giving us the hope of salvation, helping us to learn the truth in Him, glory to God. And it's not a strange thing when you see you preach the truth and people reject and refuse it. It's not strange, it was before. The truth will abide. The scripture says, heaven and earth shall pass away, but not one jot and one tittle of the word shall pass. The truth will abide forever. The truth will give us salvation. The scripture says, but they shall proceed no further, for their folly shall be manifest unto all men as theirs also was. Glory to God. And I, I want to bring your attention, glory to God, to Acts chapter 9. And I want to show you in the scripture, I want to show you in the scripture how powerful the truth is. And how powerful the word of God is. And how powerful, glory to God, salvation is. Acts chapter 9 and what it says. Read from the very first verse there. And Saul. And Saul. Yet breathing out threatening. Yet breathing out threatening. And slaughter. And slaughter. Against the disciples of the Lord. Against the disciples of the Lord. Against the truth. This man breathing out threatening against the truth. Glory to God. This is what is happening here. He was breathing or threatening against the truth. Glory to God. Let me tell you something. A lot of people today running down preaching. A lot of people today running down that they are prophets. A lot of people today running down that God called them. Glory to God. But ensure you make sure that God call you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The scripture says, and Saul yet breathing out threatenings and slaughter against the disciples of the Lord. Went unto the high priest. The desire of him and letters. Yes. To Damascus. Yes. To the synagogues. To the synagogues. Yes. And if you found any of this way. Any of this way. Any of the truth way. Glory to God. Any of the truth way. Whether they were men. Whether they were men. Or women. Or women. He, he might bring them back unto Jerusalem. My God. Let me tell you something. It's a new beginning. It's a new beginning when you find yourself going through a lot of tribulation. It's a new beginning coming, glory to God. But you have to pass through. You have to pass through it. For, for the end of a thing to come, you have to pass through, glory to God. You can ask God to move it, Lord. Lord, move it. Be tired of it, God. Move it. No. You have to pass through. This is an example of what the church passed through. Glory to God. This is an example of what the church passed through. The scripture says, and as he journeyed, he came near Damascus. 
So there will be a shining round about you, a light from heaven. Enough is enough, man. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. This man, this one, this man was fully persuaded. You notice what is happening here? This man was fully persuaded, glory to God, to fight against the truth. Yes. This man was fully persuaded. Great things can happen when you are fully persuaded. Great things can happen when you are fully persuaded because this man was of defense for the truth. He was trying to destroy, glory to God. Fully persuaded in his mind, glory to God. But bless the name of Jesus, congregation, God did met him. God did met him because surely this man didn't, didn't walk on the only thought. He was not a man of thought. He was fully persuaded. You know, Zacchaeus, if Zacchaeus had focused on his statue, he would never, glory to God, reach up into the tree, glory to God, to see Jesus. He would never be patient enough when all the crowd is standing and he can't see nothing. Glory to God, you go home. But because he was persuaded, glory to God, being a, a, a short man in statue, because he was persuaded, he went into the sycamore tree, glory to God. And he waited there, glory to God, until Jesus was passing. Hallelujah. You think Jesus don't know you? Jesus knew every one of us. Because when Jesus did came where he was, he said, Zacchaeus, come down, for I must abide with thee this day. For this day of salvation coming to thine house. Hallelujah! Glory to God. Yes, you have to be fully persuaded. You have to have a persuaded mind. Hallelujah! Glory! You know what I'm saying? Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Glory to God! You have to be fully persuaded. When you become like this, God will intervene. Hallelujah! When you become like this, glory to God, you will see great signs of God. man was fully persuaded. God said, listen, today is the day. This day. This day you shall be sealed. This day you shall be delivered. Listen, this day is killed. Glory to God. This day is the blindness. Glory to God that you have. The blindness that the walk in. Hallelujah to God. The blindness that you study, hallelujah to God, you shall be delivered this day. Glory to God. You will stop. I believe God can stop anything and anyone. At his time, not at my time, nor your time. But at his time, because this was his time, this was his time, this was his time, on the road to Damascus was God's time, hallelujah to God, hallelujah, that was his time. Bless the name of Jesus, the scripture says, what it says, the fourth verse. He fell to the earth. Yes. And heard a voice saying unto him. Yes. Saul, Saul. Yes, Jesus knew you. Jesus knew you. Glory to God. Jesus called him by name. Saul, Saul. What it says. Why persecutest thou? Why persecutest thou me? Glory to God. Hallelujah. This is the Holy Ghost Church. This is
is a church that is built upon Christ. Hallelujah. The scripture says, and he said, Who art thou, Lord? Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, Hallelujah. Even the man that was in blindness knew that there was a Lord. But he didn't know him. He knew that there is a Lord, but he never met him. Glory to God. We don't, we don't want to be like them that still have the scale on their eyes that know not what they worship. Glory to God. Thank God that we know who we worship. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The scripture says, and, and the Lord said, Yes, I am Jesus. I am Jesus. Who thou persecutest. Who thou persecutest. It is hard for thee. Yes. To kick against the prick. To kick against the prick. Yes. It is hard to kick against the prick. Let me tell you something to the congregation. Without Jesus, we are nothing. You know what I'm saying? Without Jesus, we are nothing. And it is hard to kick against God. It is hard to kick against God. You think your problem is bigger than God? You think none of our problems are bigger than God? When you stand and you believe in your God, hallelujah to God, it is hard to kick against the brick. Hallelujah. God never said he was not going to suffer. The preaching in the church was there going facing persecution. Hallelujah. They say it's persecution. Hallelujah. But they didn't give up. Hallelujah. You see, when you give up your fear, when you give up your fear, glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. When you give up your fear, hallelujah. They didn't give up. They bear the, the, bear the suffering. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Glory to God! Hallelujah! Glory to God! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! The fear is suffering. And because the fear is, God worked. Hallelujah! God did work. And He, he worked on the source. God find the source of the problem. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You never said that it's not. Hallelujah. God find the source of the problem. Hallelujah. And he changed the problem. Oh, glory. The problem was no problem anymore. The problem was turned around. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! That is why congregation deeply look. That is why we have to deeply look in the scripture that says, Leave all vengeance to God. <laughs> Leave all vengeance to God. Because you see, whom God will, He will change. And whom God will, He will destroy. We have not that power. So we have to leave that to God. Let God handle that. Because truly this man was not to be destroyed but to be changed. Glory to God. To be a vessel used. Glory to God. To fix the problem that he has caused. Hallelujah. You see how that work? This man caused a Glory to God in God's church. Hallelujah to God. And God changed the problem. Hallelujah. And have to have the same source. Change the source, man. And have the same person.
That's the perfect wisdom of God. We have it as example in the scripture now. But if we didn't have the scripture, we would know it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. If we didn't have the Holy Ghost, glory to God, to rightly divide the word of truth. Hallelujah. To open the mystery. Glory to God that is hidden in the scripture. Glory to God. We could not understand. It would be like them that walk in darkness. Can't understand the scripture. Just reading it without understanding. Hallelujah. But thank God for the perfect wisdom of God. That is above all wisdom. This one is not in school. This one you don't study to get it. The scripture says every perfect, every good gift and every perfect gift coming from above. From the Father of light in whom there is no fearless, neither shadow of turning. Glory to God. To whom God will, he will place this wisdom. Glory to God. To whom God will, he will place this wisdom. We give God thanks for this vessel that he has changed and placed his wisdom in. A vessel that is fully persuaded. I want to bring back your attention before I close to that passage that was read this morning. Glory to God. Romans chapter 8. Romans chapter 8. And I want to bring your attention. You can read from the 35th verse ministry. Who shall separate us? Who shall separate us? From the love of Christ. From the love of Christ. This is the question that we need to ask. The scripture, it is in the scripture as a question, but we need to ask ourselves this question. Who shall separate us? From the love of Christ. Shall tribulation. Shall tribulation. Or distress. Did, did tribulation separate the people of God? They endured. Shall distress. Did they separate the people of God? They endured it. Or persecution. Or persecution. Did this separate the people of God? No, no, no. They endured it. Or famine. Or famine. Glory to God. Famine. Or famine. Let me tell you something. You should identify who you are. Am I the great multitude? that was fed and afterward denied Christ? Or am I like the apostles that Peter look on Christ and says, to whom shall we go when thou hast the word of eternal life? It says, shall nakedness or perish our sword? Will I be separated without sin? You know, sword is all manner of sickness, man. Sword is all manner of sickness, congregation. Glory to God. Sword are some strange things happening to you. Glory to God, that cannot be explained. Glory to God. You know that some strange things happen spiritually. Glory to God. That is hard to explain. Glory to God. But God knows it all. Shall soar. Will this separate me from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord? As it is written, for thy sake. Why is it? For thy sake. For thy sake. We are killed. We are killed. Church, you know, 
and don't realize who my bitch would have what they get him into. You. A lot of people just want to know that they go into a church. They don't know what they go into. I want everyone inside here to understand what they are in. Glory to God. Because it's when you when you understand and open to what you are in, you know what to do. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Christ, which is from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. 
is a great form. This is a great form of creation. Let me tell you something. Of all the forms that you can ever form in your life, You have to ensure that you live up to this one. Because God has no pleasure in fools. The scripture says, pay that which thou hast vowed. It's good to say some nice things. And it's good to preach the word. Glory to God. But what about standing? As the word says, it's a challenge. It has been a challenge. It's not a strange thing. The church has passed through it. Glory to God. We are here presently. And glory to God. The knowledge has increased so much that it has drawn our members from the church that it has turned the heart of man from God. But you still have to live up to your vow. For I am persuaded. That neither I want to read the box, then I'll close. I want to read back from the 38th verse minister. Read back from there. Who well, I am to say that, yes. that neither death, yes. nor life, yes. nor angels, yes. nor principality, yes. nor powers, yes. nor things present, yes. nor things to come, yes. nor height, yes. nor death, yes. nor any other creature. Any other creature. Shall be able. He didn't say something when you see it. Something when you experience it. Shall, shall be able to separate, to us, separate us from, from the love, love of God, God which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Let me tell you something. I am a Christian. And I am persuaded to remain a Christian. Glory to God. Choose to use us. 
And today I want to thank you for the Holy Ghost that used this flesh. Glory to God, that his name be magnified. That his name be lifted up. That our faith may be strengthened. That we may not lose hope, but to believe and endure. Come gracious, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. And may his words dwell in you. So that the appointed time that you need it, he shall bring back to your remembrance so that you will be able to overcome and stand. Fight the good fight of faith and lay hold on eternal life.